Right, now Tess is here. She's going to help us teach a new trick, and that trick is peekable. And the finished peekable looks like this. <laughs> and on cue, Jambo is in position. Good boy. Yes, you're a very good boy. So, if I just show you that again, Jambo peekable. So he's in between my legs and he's orienting his head and his eyes up towards me. Peekaboo! Yes, good boy. So how are we going to teach this? Well, it's not that difficult, so that's why we're doing it. What we're going to do, we're going to put our dog into a sit and we're going to take our food law into our hand. Now I've got some little pieces of cooked roast turkey here. I'm going to stand directly in front of Tessa to make it sort of really easy for her so that she's literally just going forward. Tessa, come on. Sorry about that. Uh, so she's going to come forwards, literally straight between my legs. Okay? So, I place myself in front of my dog and I put the food law down. Tessa, sit. And we literally just lure her through. She follows the food. Yes! When she's in the correct position, we mark and we reward. So we'll show you that again. So Tessa, come round and sit. So you want your dog directly behind you to make it easiest. Take your food low, open your legs, lure through and upwards. Yes. So the reason I've come upwards as well is so that she sits at the same time and orients her head, eyes up towards my face. Good girl. So we show you that once more, and this time we'll do it from a sideways direction. Wait. So I stand in front of her. Notice I haven't actually given her the cue yet. Until your dog knows the action, you don't add in the cue. You take your food. In my case, I put it in my right hand. I'm going to open my legs and yes. So you can see I continued to bring the food upwards. And when she sat and was looking up at me, I mark and reward. You're going to do that several times with the food lock. And once your dog's coming through confidently and quickly and sitting and looking up at you, then and only then are you going to try it without that food lock. So, pretend we've done it lots and lots of times now. So we'll try it without the food lock. I'm going to act as though I've still got it. She's come through anyway. Yes. So I did exactly the same action as if I had the food. Okay, so that's worth remembering. My hand comes up in the same way. Good girl. We'll do another one. So, sorry, no food. Okay, Tessa. Yes, good girl. And you mark and reward. Once they're doing this really confidently, then you can add in the cue. Okay, don't expect them to respond to the cue straight away. You're still going to use your hand because to them that is the cue. Okay, eventually they will start preempting this hand signal and they'll hear the peekaboo and they'll offer the peekaboo and at that point you can get rid of the hand signal. So let's give it a shot. Excuse me, Tessa. So again, keep it simple, stand in front of your dog, Tess a peekaboo, yes, good girl, and notice I still did my hand signal, even though I've added in the cue, good girl, excuse me, Tess, very big girl, aren't you Tessa, okay Tessa, come round, and sit, so we do one last one, Tessa peekaboo, Yes, good girl. And I kept it there, again, with the slight hand signal so that she gets used to the idea of the fact that peekaboo means the same as coming through with this hand. So, try it once without the hand signal and see what we get. Test the peekaboo. Hello. Good girl. <laughs> That's very nice. I just got your head. Are you still standing up? Okay, through. Peekaboo through. Whoop. Yes, good girl. So a 
as you can see, Tess has more or less got that there, and it won't be long until I can just use the peekaboo without the hand signal. Good girl. <laughs> she did look very cute. So good luck with that. That's peekaboo.